So here's the final result. The Cintistore Polygon Sci-Fi Space Pack uh, exported from Unity, imported into the Godot game engine, um, including um, transparent glass, including translucent uh, holo displays, and also including um, uh, collision shapes for the geometry so that we don't fall through the floor. So let's get started. If you're into game development, then it's very likely that you came across Cinti Studio assets. Uh, Cinti Studio is a studio that provides high quality, mostly low poly assets that you can use in the Unity game engine and also in the Unreal game engine. But unfortunately, they don't support um, the Godot game engine, um, although it's not that complicated to get them into uh, Godot. Um, as I found out recently, because I didn't know about the FBX expo exporter. So um, the three steps that you need to take is install the FBX exporter package in Unity, export the assets out to FBX, import the FBX files into Blender, and export them to GLTF or GLB, and fix the um, transparency flags in the textures. Um, I show that in detail in the next couple of minutes. First of all, I have to apologize. I butchered the company name of Synthi Studios by typing and saying Synthi when I should have said and typed uh, Synthi. Uh, apologies for that, but other than that, the steps should be okay. Um, the um, very package that I started with is called Polygon Sci-Fi Space Pack. I highly recommend that. As I said, it's on sale every, ever so often and um, it provides uh, tons of assets and uh, one uh, demo main scene which contains all of the assets. And um, the trick is to export everything in one go by exporting this whole scene. And you can do that by um, getting into Unity. I took these screenshots on a Windows machine. Um, uh, first of all, of course, buy Synthi Studio assets. I like them very much. I think they're awesome. Um, this, again, is the um, uh, space pack that we just saw. Then load the demo uh, interior scene, which holds, as far as I can tell, most of the assets from the package, and we can export them into one in one go if we, first of all, um, go to the window uh, menu package manager. Secondly, switch from My Assets, which is the default, I think, to Unity Registry. And um, then you should be able to look for, to search for FBX, and then you should find the FBX exporter and install that. Once you did that, you can go to Interiors and right-click, and a menu shows up with an Export to FBX option. If we choose that, um, we can leave everything as default, or change that, but the important part is to switch from uh, ASCII to binary as an export format because this is what Blender can read. Once we exported the FBX file from Unity, make sure that you copy the FBX file and the textures folder from the Unity package to your file system. It's important that they are next to each other because Blender will make an attempt to find the textures of the FBX file. So if we switch to a Blender with the already deleted default cube, then we can import FBX, uh, uh, go to the folder, image search is um, activated by default, and then we can import the FBX into Blender. Once we did that, we'll see hopefully all of the assets in Blender, uh, which is great already. Um, but if we switch to the material view uh, in the viewport, then either we see everything purplish, then Blender did not find the textures, or hopefully we do see the textures, then everything went right. And in this case, um, this worked out, so that's great already. And um, now we could um, export to GLTF, but with one step, uh, we can again make our life easier by adding collision shapes to all the um, meshes that need to have collision shapes. Um, to showcase this, um, let's go to uh, the interiors and um, let's um, uh, deselect everything, 
uh, activate the buildings folder and um, uh, show all of the building meshes in there. And then we select all of the buildings by selecting the first one and then scroll all the way down to um, the very bottom to find the last mesh in the building folder and uh, shift select uh, all of these. So make sure that the mouse cursor is in the 3D viewport over there and hit function command F2 on a Mac and control shift F2 on a Windows or a Linux machine to bring up the batch rename uh, dialog, which is super helpful to, well, batch rename all of the meshes. To do that, um, we change the type from find replace to set name and leave the method as suffix and uh, enter dash call in the name section, which will rename, as we can see, 576 objects, uh, which is a lot, um, to, um, to have the ending uh, dash call. And uh, if we hit OK, then Blender will rename all of the meshes um, to uh, end with dash call. Uh, with that, we can export the model. So we go to the uh, file menu, export uh, GLTF, and we can leave everything uh, to default. Settings, go to the folder, test in this case, and uh, uh, name our GLB uh, also to the name synthi underscore test. And uh, then we can hit the export button to export it out to GLTF. Now I created another folder called Godot project and I copied from a different uh, project a project file and a simple first person controller. I um, move them into the Godot project folder and usually I start um, by um, going to the very folder in the terminal and then I do Godot minus E to start the um, Godot game engine without the project manager. Um, now we created the 3D um, scene and we call this main, but it can be named whatever you wish. And um, now we copy the um, uh, FBX, sorry, the GLB file into the Godot project folder. And now this should be automatically imported, which also will take some time. Here we are. Then we open the Synthetest GLB as a new inherited scene. And it looks okay to me. I mean, the textures are there and we have the whole object, which is great. And now we can see that the um, Godot importer created the static bodies and the collision shapes, which um, for over 400, nearly 500 uh, objects, which is really cool because we didn't have to do this manually, obviously. So, um, so if that worked, then I can save this as uh, Synthetest TC, uh, TSCN and add this to the um, main scene. Here we go. And now uh, we are missing a world environment. So let's create that for a second so that we have something like light and a uh, new environment, edit environment, background, sky, procedural sky. Here we go. And um, if we drop the player into the main scene, let's see what happens. Everything works. So we have collision shapes. We can't move through the door. Uh, well, we have to fix that maybe later. If, if but we can uh, we can walk through through objects because uh, these don't have collision shapes. But that's okay. That's the way um, uh, we want to have it. So we have the full model in Godot. This is great already. But we can improve that because, um, as you will see, the textures. Yes, the textures are there, but the glass is um, 
lacking transparency. Um, you can see that most obviously in the hydroponic scene, which is over here. This guy should be translucent. So to fix that, we um, click on the, sorry, we go to back to the Synthi test scene, click on the um, transparent material. And now we see that um, this, you can focus that with F, with F and zoom in a little bit. And um, so this is a mesh instance. The mesh instance can be edited and has a surface and the surface has a material which we can edit and then we can set the flag to transparent and additionally we need to go to albedo select the color and turn down the alpha channel to your liking and let's do it like that so if we go back to the main scene hit play again then we can see through the glass and let's fix the um, glasses in the bridge I think this is a different material but I'm not entirely sure sorry player like so Oh, then we can see this was the material already. All right, but the um, these holographic panels in the, in the very center are supposed to be translucent too, if I remember correctly. So so let's go back to the synthy test scene and select, as you move to one of these HUD panels, select that. They should all have the same material, I think. Edit this. Surface one, edit material, set the flag to transparent, and set the color in albedo to, to have an alpha channel. Let's pull this way down so that we can see the effect. So if that worked out, we have the whole Unity scene in Godot. Uh, the panels, the HUD panels are transparent. The windows are transparent. And um, yeah, we have the whole model.